Georgia at Auburn, Georgia. What what's going on there? Well, I'll tell you. Injuries. Injuries. I mean, look, they haven't had Vlad McConkey. They haven't had Kendall Milton. Who, by the way, is practicing this week. Might come back. I think they save him for another week, but he's back practicing. Robinson, that's another running back. Uh, Tavon Bullard or Taron Bullard. Tavon Bullard. Or Javon Bullard. That's what I meant to say. What am I saying right now? Uh, he's also been injured. So I – plus – I believe another defensive lineman's down. I don't remember off the top of my head. But injuries, um, getting off the slow starts. But guess what? If you're here in the comments as an Auburn fan or as another type of fan to slander Carson Beck, you're kidding yourselves. You are kidding yourselves. This kid is playing good football. He's playing good football. I don't know what else to say. It's not Heisman level. I know at the beginning of the season, right, if you guys are there for our previews, and I talked about Carson Beck potentially being in the Heisman conversation in in New York later this year, that might not happen, right? But to say yeah. that Carson Beck is not playing good football is ridiculous. He is. Well, and to add on that point real quick, and we don't talk a ton of Heisman here because obviously in September. Um, you throw away no money. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, and, and the problem with Carson Beck is you talk about Heisman moments. He's not going to have one of those because of the schedule he plays and the dynamic of the SEC East right now. He he could put up four thousand yards and, and still be nowhere near New York at the end of the year. But yep, yeah. I I, I mean this Georgia offense is still putting up forty one points per game. Sorry, it still is. And Auburn, goodness gracious! After what we saw last week, in fact, actually what we've seen this whole year is that that offensive line is not good. I know we thought I know we thought it was going to be good, right? Because they brought in a lot of G five guys. But in my eyes, all I've seen is a G five offensive line. And Peyton Thorne, it's not very good. The receivers, they they got some good guys in transport. It's so confusing that Hugh Freeze is not able to get this thing going. But uh, just feels like they don't have any answers on offense. Their defense is still playing pretty decently. A lot of stuff happens in Jordan Hare. A lot of weird stuff happens in Jordan Hare. So I, it's tough. It's tough to fade Auburn in Jordan Hare ever, right? But give me Georgia to win. And give me Georgia. Give me the 14 and a half. I don't care. Give it to me. What say you? Yeah, I, I think, again, yeah, I, I'm going to go Georgia to win, Georgia cover. I think they're finally going to wake up. Not that they've been sleepwalking through their earliest schedule, but they kind of have. And you saw that against South Carolina where that first half was pretty ugly. And then Kirby's like, they're not going to score another point whatever and then are not going to get another touchdown and, and then what and then they they blew him out right in the second half there i think they're too talented carson beck and georgia will, will score too many points for auburn to be able to catch up in this game um and at that point then you it can get kind of ugly like it did last week with AM and auburn um i i still feel pretty good about auburn and Hugh freeze i think the rest of the year you know they get get by this game you can still win seven games um, if you're Auburn, but it doesn't n- not to dismiss this game at all because obviously it's a huge rivalry game, the oldest rivalry in in, in the South or whatever it's called. Um, Georgia to Auburn. If if you're in the SEC or in the SEC country, you know how big of the game this is. Jordan Hare, like you said, is going to be buzzing. Um, but yeah, I think uh, Georgia goes in early. They quiet the crowd, and then you know it gets out of hand. The the boo birds come out for Peyton Thorne and, and Robbie Ashford for whatever happens for Auburn. I hate to say that for Auburn, but yeah, I I think it could be it could be ugly here. But regardless of how this goes for Auburn, I think looking, don't worry about it. Really, don't worry about it. Like Georgia's gonna do that to most teams they play this year. You're not quite on the caliber as you'd like to be. At this point, um, to be able to compete with Georgia and to be upset about getting blown out by Georgia, um, at this point it's fine. But yeah, Georgia, you're a Georgia fan, like you said, show me something. Show show me something. Show me a dominant sixty minute performance, which they haven't really done. Um, obviously on the road is a great place to start in Jordan Hare. It's a great place to start. Um, and but another interesting thing is you look at Georgia's schedule. Obviously they haven't played anybody good, but another interesting part is their schedule, they haven't gone on the road yet, right? This is their first time away from home. And Very for true. Carson Beck as a starting quarterback, Jordan Hare is probably one of the worst places I want to be in 
right? If, if in terms of your first road environment, um, and Auburn's defense is pretty good. It, it's not great. It's pretty darn good, though. I, I think you know in terms of where that team is. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. So so it's not going to be easy for Carson Beck, but I do think Brock Bowers and company there. Now, if you want to talk about path for Auburn to win, right? If you had, if you want to break it down for us, how does Auburn win here? Besides, you know, ma- massive injury to Georgia, whatever. Um, how, how does Auburn, you know, win this game? How do they win this game? Oh, goodness, turnovers from Carson Beck. <laughs> that's it. If that's your first thing, exactly. That's why we're picking Georgia to cover there. I do think, um, in terms of non-turnover, I'll throw in stopping the run. Special right? teams and, touchdowns. Oh my god, come on. No, I agree. I, I, yeah, but in terms of like, you know, down to down, to be able to keep it a game to where a couple touchdowns or maybe two plays here and there, defensively or on special teams, change the outcome of the game. Stopping the run, right? Georgia's running backs have been, you know, in and out of the lineup all year. Obviously, you know, they're they're banged up. Auburn can stop the run, right? Amari Daniels had that big run last week against them. But other than that, I I thought they did fine against the run. Okay. Um, they did yeah, okay. I, oh yeah, okay. I I thought um and, and obviously Cal didn't do anything against them offensively, yeah. which is well just Austin's a crazy out, but game. Hunter and Bate is really good. I was I was pleasantly surprised. By mm-hmm. him as well at running back. Uh, no Keontae Scott for Auburn at nickel, but uh, I mean, he didn't play against AM. So uh, didn't seem like it still felt like Auburn secondary was doing fine without him. But I mean, look, Auburn better hope for some serious food poisoning, mass food poisoning, these practice facilities for Georgia. Cause I don't know, man. Sorry, Auburn. This it's not your year. I'm sorry. <laughs> 